Hello, boring vlogs people. How are you this fine day? Me? I am fantastic. Uh, I realize that I have not made a video in, I think, over a week now. Um, you know, honestly, I kind of forgot for a little while. And uh, then, uh, once I remembered I should make a boring vlogs video, uh, I didn't really have anything interesting to make a video about. Uh, so I didn't make one. And, uh, but yeah, I, uh, am out getting lunch right now, uh, at Subway. I went actually all the way to the Subway that, that was right down the street from, uh, where I used to live because, only because I wanted sugar cookies. And so far, none of the frickin' cookies by, uh, or none of the frickin' Subways by where I live have sugar cookies. There's, like, I've gone to a, to a at least three different ones or whatever, and uh, or at least been by three different ones, and none of them have sugar cookies, and it's so aggravating because they're the most delicious cookie that Subway makes now that they discontinued the Snickerdoodle, which was the best cookie they made when they made it. Uh, but essentially, the sugar cookie is a Snickerdoodle without sugar on top of it, so, you know, that's why it's so good. Um, but yeah, I drove all the way out just to get that, <laughs> because it's delicious and amazing. And, uh, luckily, I also just got some, uh, some more, some solid good news. Uh, I got a call confirming my start date back at my old job. Uh, so that'll be nice. Uh, they're also bringing me back at the same hourly rate, which is nice because I was not sure they were going to do that, uh, because I heard that some of the people that they brought on, they got at a cheaper rate, and so I was a bit nervous that they were going to make me go in at that new lower rate. But that didn't happen. And uh, it was funny because when he called me and, like, right after he confirmed, oh, yeah, we'll bring you back at your old rate, I almost, almost asked, like, if they would be willing to give me more money. But figured, no, best not to push it. I'm already, I'm glad I'm getting what I was making before. There's no need to, uh, to risk anything pointlessly. Uh, but, yeah, so I guess I'm going to be, I'm going to be starting on the, uh, the 5th of November. Remember, remember, the 5th of November, the gunpowder treason and trot. I know of no reason why the gunpowder treason should ever be forgot. Was it November 5th? I feel like it was. Remember, remember, the 5th of November. Yeah? I'm pretty sure it was the 5th. I love that movie. V for Vendetta. Very good movie. Oh, that's the car I saw earlier. Look at this Corvette over here. It's pretty sweet. Uh, I saw it when I was getting off the freeway. And, uh, I mean, I saw it from afar, and I pretty much just saw the taillights and the spoiler, and I was like, what kind of car is that? Uh, for a split second, I thought it might have been, like, an Audi R8 or something, because I, I, like I said, I barely caught a glimpse of it. And so then I tried to catch up to it on the freeway and found out what it was. Uh, and, you know, Corvettes are pretty cool, but they're not nearly as cool as an Audi R8 or R10. It could have been an R10. That would have been sick. Or, it's, you know, it's still an R8 V10, but whatever, R10, sort of the same thing. Um, but yeah, uh, I read, no, I did not read, I heard it, I'm a liar. Uh, I heard today that scientists have been developing a tractor beam, which is pretty freaking sick. Okay, so they use lasers that like, it's a certain type of laser where the, the beam doesn't spread out through space as normal light does. What it does is it keeps like contracting itself and then it, it like can keep itself the same size. And so scientists can take that beam and place it behind an object and it will like contract itself back in. So they can use this tractor beam in space to draw objects closer to stuff. That's awesome. Uh, right now, you know, it's on the microscopic level, but uh, you know, soon I'm sure that they'll have awesome, super cool tractor beams in space that can like be, bring things in or push them away and it'll be awesome. Um, but yeah, I thought that was really cool. And uh, there was something else I was gonna talk about. Oh, uh, I just went. I went to Disneyland this last Sunday uh, with some friends, and uh, we were talking about Doctor Who because you know the friend I went with is the person who got me into Doctor Who, uh, mostly because he just talked about how awesome it was all the time, and I thought, you know, I bet I might, I better watch this show if it's so awesome. Watched it, love it. It's the best thing ever but realized that I have not seen any of the Christmas specials, which is uh, the only way you would know how David, David Tennant turns into Matt Smith is by watching 
the Christmas special where he turns or whatever. Um, and so I was like, because that was one thing that kind of bothered me when Matt Smith first appeared is like he just stepped out of the TARDIS and I'm like, uh, where'd you come from? I don't know why you exist now and the other awesome dude doesn't. Um, but now, so I'm, I, since it's on Netflix, uh, I am now watching it so that I will be all caught up and I will know what happened to David Tennant. And what drew me to watch this now was last night uh, on demand there was Fright Night, uh, which had, which had uh, you know Colin Farrell and uh, I can't remember his name now, but he played Chekhov in uh, Victor Victor Two in uh, Star Trek. Uh, what is his name? Damn it. I can't remember. Uh, but yeah, he's in it too, and also McLovin is in it. And, uh, it was good. It was really good. And David, David Tennant was a fairly main character in the movie, and it just made me want to go and watch Doctor Who again. Because <laughs> David Tennant was so awesome. He was like the best doctor ever. And, uh, so I'm excited to see his, uh, departure, uh, and, uh, transformation into, uh, Matt Smith. But, uh, yeah, so that's what I'm, uh, currently, go or that's what I'm gonna do as soon as I get back. I'm gonna eat my Subway sandwich, and I'm gonna watch that at the same time. Because I'm a multitasker. I can watch things and eat at the same time. I know, I know. It's pretty impressive, and you're jealous. But, uh, please, uh, hold your applause. Don't hold your applause. Clap for me. Clap. Woohoo! No, that'd be really weird. Okay, but, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's about it. I guess I will uh, see you guys tomorrow. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And, uh, yeah, so long. Bye-bye. Yeah.